Hi there, I'm Pam Carr, and I'm here to show you how to make the Salish Sea short beanie. Um, I've got some different colors here to show you. I, today I'm making an orange one, but I've made the white and a gray one. I've made lots of different colors. These sell really well at the market, and I thought I would show you how to make one of those in a tutorial here. But also say that the thing about these Salish Sea short beanies is you can actually unfold the brim and just wear them as a regular beanie or toque as we say in Canada. So please follow along if you'd like to make yourself a beautiful Salish Sea short beanie and uh, learn how to do that with me today on this crochet tutorial, okay? Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want notifications. Enjoy this video. And I make it with this four wasted weight yarn. I'm using orange purely because I sold an orange one at the market and I need another orange one. So it's made with Craft Smart Value worsted weight yarn. It's a number four yarn and often people ask me what they need to start crocheting and I tell them worsted weight yarn, but how do you know it's worsted weight yarn? So the way to tell is to look at the label and here for the weight it says medium four. That's the worsted weight, number four, the one that we want for this pattern. Often it says worsted weight and then four in brackets. And we're gonna use, this recommends a 5.5 .5 millimeter hook, but I'm using a five millimeter hook for this one. So it's an H hook, five millimeters, you need some scissors, and you're gonna need a yarn needle as well, okay? And so to start this out, we're going to be needing to make a magic circle. If you don't want to make a magic circle, you can just chain four and join to the first loop, but I thought I'd show you how to make a magic circle here. So what I do when I make a magic circle is I pinch the yarn here, between these two fingers, and I wrap it round my pointy finger and then come in from the back and cross it over like this. And then what I do is I just take my hook and I go under there and over this one and pull it through. And then I pull that through there and that's the beginning of our magic circle. Okay, as I said, you can just chain four and join it with a slip stitch if you want. Now I'm going to actually chain an, another one because we want to chain two at the beginning and then we're going to do 12 double crochets into this loop. See how I'm holding this here? Okay, so yarn over, hook into the loop, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, into the magic loop, Pull up the thread, through two, through two. Once more, yarn over into the magic loop. Grab the yarn with your hook, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. So we're gonna make 12 of these. One, two, three. I'll come back when I've got 12. And then when you've got your 12 done, you just pull on this and it tightens it right up. So that's the value of doing a magic loop. It makes a nice, tight little center in there. And now I'm going to join to the first stitch here with a slip stitch. There we go, we've got a nice little circle and we're going to chain two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets into each of these 12 stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we're going to go into the first one and we're going to do two double crochets. This is a common way to start a, this is a top down hat, right? So it's a common way to start a top down hat. Two double crochets into each of the previous stitches. So there we are. We've got two in the first one, two in the second. Here we go into the next one. Two into the next one. And we're gonna go all the way around so we'll end up with 24 double crochets. So here we are at the end and we've got 22 and we're just gonna do two into the last previous double crochet. So we have 24 and you can count them just by going around. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 
24 okay now we're going to put our hook in <laughs> there we go into the top of the chain two from the previous row and we're going to chain two and this time we're going to just do two double crochet into the first one and then we're going to do one double crochet in the next one this is a pattern two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch okay all the way around two into the next one one two into the next one one all the way around okay so here we are at the final stitch two stitches so i'm doing two into this one and then one into the last one and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the previous chain two and chain two ready for the next one and don't forget to count because there should be 36 double crochets around that one two third round okay so we've chained two ready to start our next round one two three round four so what we're going to do is we're going to two double crochet into the first stitch here then we're going to make one double crochet into each of the next two stitches so that's one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch then two double crochet into the next one and then one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the next stitch followed by two single double crochets into each one into each of the next two stitches okay so that's the pattern two into the next stitch and then one one two into the next stitch one one all the way around to the end okay see you back here we are at the end i've just done two double crochets into that stitch and now i'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet into the last stitch and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two there we go okay chain two and this is going to be our last increasing row we're going to do two double crochet into the first one as before one two can you guess what we're going to do next we're going to put a, a double crochet a single double crochet into each of the next three stitches so we're changing it up we're going every time we go around we're doing one more double crochet into a, its own stitch two three then two double crochet into the next one and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches one two three okay they each get their own double crochet one two three okay i'm going to leave you to do that two double crochet into the next one and then a sing one double crochet into each of the next three stitches all the way around so at this point we're at the end of this uh one two three four fifth row i've done two double crochet into that stitch so i'm going to do one double crochet into each of the next three stitches see that little one right at the corner there and now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two from the previous from the beginning of the row and at this point you should have 60 if you count around there should be 60 stitches on your hat now we're going to chain two and this is where we start row seven one two three four five sorry six so um we're going to go from this row all the way up to row 13 and you can count your rows you can see them quite clearly here one two three four five okay so we're going to do the next row row six which is just going to be double crocheting into each stitch 
all right all the way around and count and make sure that you end up with 60 at the end so go all the way around and that's what we're going to do for all the rest of the rows up to the end of row 13 is just single crochet all the way around to the end attach with a slip stitch to the top of this chain two chain two up for your next row and off you go so here we are at the end of row 13 i do the one last double crochet and i have counted it i do have 60 and i'm going to just slip stitch it right into that top of that chain two and i'll just show you how to check if you've got 13 rows okay starting this little one right up here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay so that's thirteen now to do our brim on this hat we're going to chain two just like when we do our regular rows but we're going to do what's called a front post double crochet back post double crochet kind of a brim okay so we're going to put the yarn let's see if i can do it this way so you can see better put the yarn over the needle and then we're going to find the double crochet that's directly below and we're going to put our hook underneath it like this okay then we're going to put the yarn over and pull it through yarn over pull it through two Yarn over, pull it through two. So that's a front post double crochet. And you can see it sort of stands up in, in front of the others. Now we're going to put a yarn over as if we're just starting a regular double crochet, but we're going to find the next one. We're working in the row below, right? So we're going to find this next one and we are going to go in from the back and down on the other side of that double crochet, yarn over, Pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. So now we have a front and the back. You can see them there. Now we're going to go into this next one that hasn't been used yet, okay? Yarn over, it's going to be a front one. So we're going to go right in underneath like that. Yarn over, pull it through yarn over and finish it like a regular double crochet through two yarn over through two okay now we're going to do the next one we've got front back front this is going to be the back okay so yarn over and in from the back over top of that double crochet push it out the back again yarn over pull it through that double crochet Yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. So we've completed two. We've you see how they're starting to twist there. Okay. So the next one, this is the next one. We're gonna go, it's gonna be a front post, so we're gonna go keep that double crochet post in front of the work. Yarn over, pull it through the the double crochet. Yarn over and then just do a double crochet stitch. Just finish it off like a normal double crochet. And here's the next one, but this is going to be the back post because we're alternating front post, back post. Yarn over your hook and then go in from the back because that's why it's called a back post double crochet. Yarn over, pull it through that double crochet post. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. Now I'm going to go round, working into this row 13, picking up those double crochets, front post, back post, until I get round to the end. And I uh, encourage you to stop the video and just play back from the beginning if you need reminding how to do this. I can't show you all the way round. Otherwise the video gets really long and then it takes me forever to upload it because I don't have great Wi-Fi on this little island where I live. Okay, so stop your video go back if you need reminding how to make it but if you've got it just carry on all the way around to the end so here we are you can see how it's looking all the way round front post back post front post back post all the way round 
And here we are at the very end. And because we had 60 stitches and we had that chain two that we start with, right? We sort of did our first front post double crochet around that. So we're going to now do um, a back post double crochet here. This is gonna be our back post double crochet and then we're going to just slip stitch to the top of the first then that's joined it up so it's front back front back and we're back to front okay so we've chained up two and we're going to do our second row of front post double crochets but this time we're working into the front of the one directly below. So here is the previous chain two there. I like to kind of go under that one and under the first front post double crochet. It's always a bit tricky the first one you do because you see here now we still have the chain two that we have just created. We're going to have to combo that with this one in the next round. So that's our front post double crochet. Now we're going to put the yarn over and we're going to do the back. We're going to go into the back of the one directly below here. Oops, can you see that there? Into the back of that one. Yarn over, pull it through. Finish your double crochet. Now we have this front post here. Put your yarn over. Don't go down there. Go into the one right there. Into the front of it. Front post double crochet, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull it through two, pull it through two. Now we're doing the back for the second row. Yarn over, look, you can just see there's like a cross thread, thread strand there, and there's that back post double crochet. So we're go we've got a yarn over, we're going to put our hook and get that post behind our hook, yarn over and pull it through yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. Okay, now we want to do another front post. Yarn over, right into this next one here. Don't go down, go right into that front of that post, pull it through, and finish your double crochet. Yarn over. Here is the next one. Put your hook in from the back, and up down the other side of the double crochet, so your double crochet post is at the back, pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. So we're gonna go all the way around once more, doing front posts and front posts, and back posts and back posts. Okay, I'll see you at the end. So here we are at the end of the second row of the front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So I've just done a front. You can see how we're starting to get these lines going up and the lines indented that's going to be our brim our ribbed brim okay so I have just done a front post so I'm going to try and get my yarn back on the hook and we're going to finish this row together so I'm going to go in here and get that double crochet post at the back I'm doing it in the air, so it's kind of awkward. Yarn over, and now I'm gonna go into the front, because this is a front one. So we're gonna go into that front post there, pull through, and now we're going to do the final back post there. And then we're going to slip stitch right into the top of the first front post double crochet that we did, okay? And we are going to chain two. One, two. Now, my yarn's coming out the wrong side here. So like I showed you before, we do have that chain two because every time we start a new row, like we've just done a chain two, it's going to be there beside that front post double crochet. So I like to make it tidy. I like to go behind that chain two and also behind that double crochet post just to make it a bit of a neater ribbing. Yarn over, 
Now we're going to do a back post. So we go in and get that one behind us. Back post. Now we're going in the front, right in there. And we're going to make a front post double crochet. And now here's the back. You can see it hiding. They're all hiding down there in that little dip. So you push your hook in, get that double crochet behind you there, and back post. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way around. This is going to be the third one. When you get to the end, do the same. Slip stitch into the top, make your first front post double crochet. You can include the chain too if you like to do that. And we're going to do, this was, this is row three, we're just starting. So we're going to do row three, row four, and row five. Okay, so you've got this row and two more rows to do. Okay, and I'll see you at the end. So here we are coming to the end of the fifth row of this ribbed brim. So I've done a front post. I'm just going to go into the back post. To a back post, double crochet. Go into the front post. Yarn over, go into the back post. And here we are at the end. Oh no, we've got a front post here. Get too excited to be finished. Okay. In the back post. So there. And now we go into the top of the front post. And we can finish that off. Cut the yarn. Finish that off. And this is what our hat looks like. Okay. With five rows of front post, back post, double crochet, front post, double crochet. And how we count those is we can count these cross bars here. See the cross bars going across one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows. So that's how we know. And the great thing about this hat uh, is that we can roll, well, let's fasten it off first. Hey, let's, let's, let's put, our loose ends in. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Pam. <laughs> okay, so to weave in this end, I like to just go right down the middle of the front post double crochet there. And then go back up, weaving it in and out. And then once more down. Okay. And then the other place that you have to weave in an end is on the inside in the middle here. Okay? So, so this is a top-down hat. People make top-down hats and bottom-up hats. Most of my hats are top-down. I think all the hats that I have um, except for, yeah, granny square hats, of course, are not made. They're sewn together. So here we go. All right, so now we're going to roll up the rim. And this is our short beanie. All right. And the great thing is that I was going to say is you can wear this short crop beanie where these, this should be resting just above the ears. But if you want to make it into a regular beanie or a toque, you just open the bottom and there you have it. It'll cover your ears and hug your head just like a regular beanie. So it's a versatile little hat and I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want notifications. And thank you for watching my Salish Sea Shortcut Beanie tutorial and happy crocheting everybody. See you again.